What's up everyone, welcome to my 12th C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called a, a loop. And the first kind of loop I want to go over is a for loop. And it's spelled F-O-R-L-O-O-P, so you know what I'm talking about. So what this loop does is allow you to perform a task, a certain task, a bunch of times without having to type it over and over. You just type a task in and tell C++ how many times you want it to run and it does it for you. So let's get started. As you can see we already have both our includes and our just our basic what we always have to start out. So let me move this somewhere you can see. There we go. And the syntax that we first need to get started is first declare a basic integer variable oops we don't want to be typing up there right in your main function so let's type int x we'll just name the variable x to make it easy and the syntax for the loop itself is the word for and this means that you're going to begin a for loop then you want to add two parameters to the loop and you don't need to put a semicolon at the end just leave it blank now inside these parameters there's going to be three separate things and what we're going to be doing is giving it a range giving the variable a range to, to tell C++ how many times we want to perform this task and we use our variable that we declared right here and the first thing we want to do is tell C++ where we want our variable to start and 99% of the time we're going to be starting right at zero and then add a semicolon and the next thing you want to do is tell C++ where to stop so let's put X is um, less than 9 so right now we have a range from 0 to 9 the first and second thing and the last thing you have to do is tell our program how much you want to increment it by and we're going to increment it by 1 every time. So instead of typing x equals x plus 1, a quicker way to do that is type in x plus plus. And uh, this adds 1 to it every time, and x minus minus would subtract 1. So now that we have a range 0 to 9 and increment it by 1, we're going to have, we're going to have our action perform 9 times. So what action do we exactly want to do? Well the very next line under our for loop is our instructions about what we want to do. And as usual let's just make a simple output statement and I'm just going to write hey there and uh, give it a new, there we go, give it a new line. So what this is, oops so what this is going to do right now, we declared our variable, we we said all right, 0 to 9, do it 1 for each time, and for every one of those times, just output hey there on the screen. So let's save this and show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully I don't have any errors or nothing. And as you can see, our program executed hey there 9 times. And this is one way where you can perform a series of tasks again and again without having to type it over and over. And as you can see, if we didn't do this before, we would have to write C out this whole thing nine times. But with this simple syntax, you, all you have to do is write this, and it can perform it all for you without having to go over it and over it, and it will save you a bunch of space and a bunch of time. Now another thing I want to show you guys real quick is you can just output the variable itself too. So say you want to start at 0 and go to 9. And this isn't going to show up 9 because it's less than 9 so it's only going to show 8. But this might be a little easier for you guys to grasp on to see what's going on right now. As you see we first declared the variable then went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is another way where we can use a for loop to save a bunch of time and a bunch of code. So save this and once you learn this you can 
start using your programs to perform repetitive tasks with only a very small bit of code and in the next tutorial we'll be going over um, probably another kind of loop so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and remember to subscribe thanks